passed down officially into our family. You know what else we're so happy is that Peyton's joining an amazing family. <laughs> Sam, you know, they have been so wonderful to Peyton from day one. They've been so welcoming and we're very, very we love, that. We love you guys too. So, you know, what you may not know about Lori and I is we both come from a family of all boys. I was one of three boys, never had a sister. Lori had four brothers, never had a sister. So when we had our first one, Landon, he was a boy. <laughs> 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 when we had Barry, our third, he was a boy. That was expected, but we had this amazing surprise when we had our second. Because we had this beautiful little girl little feisty little girl <laughs> named Peyton, or as she calls herself, Peyton. <laughs> so I said trouble saying her name. <laughs> when we chose her, we didn't know it was going to be that hard to pronounce. <laughs> no, and I, I said to myself when I saw this beautiful little girl, I said, this is, having a daughter is going to be so great. And I look back and Great is probably not the right word. <laughs> not really easy to describe it. Because you know what? It was so much better than great. It was perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about you, babe. You know, she's elegant, she's personable, she's intelligent, athletic, stylish, <laughs> and beautiful. And I know what you're thinking. so much alike. We've got the same personality, same crazy sense of humor, and you know, even we, when I was younger, we looked alike. Not so much anymore. <laughs> I'm not a size zero. <laughs> Anyways, it was, um, there was nothing I thought my little girl couldn't do, and I was so proud of her. And, i give you one example. We were watching the Olympics. She was only seven or eight years old. We were watching the figure skating. And I said, you know, Peyton is so good at gymnastics. She's so athletic. She can do those twists and the jumps and things like that that they're doing. So Peyton and I strapped on her roller blades. We went out into the cul-de-sac. We're having a great time skating together. We sort of wanted to get in front of the Pinkus' house. <laughs> and I lift my little girl up, give her a twist, and send her spinning into the air. <laughs> but Kate was angry about me. Kate was very angry about that. And I know this because she told me. She told me when we were in the waiting room. <laughs> so we were waiting to get her stitch stop. <laughs> Seven, ten stitches, maybe twelve. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> but she blamed me, and I don't know why. It was a, it was a good toss. <laughs> it wasn't me that didn't stick the landing. <laughs> but you know what? I took the blame and I took it gladly because that's what a father does for his daughter. What I didn't know is that 20 years later, I'd still be taking the blame for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, um, you know, it's such a, um, it's such a special evening, and so glad for both of these. And I, one thing I do want to do though tonight is, uh, remember those who can't be with us tonight. And, um, I'm not really mentioning that, and not necessarily those that uh, are afraid of the Omicron variant, but, <laughs> still up, but uh, specifically those that, um, you know, both Peyton's grandfathers, Gary and Woody, and they love Peyton so much. They love to be here, and probably in some way they are, but uh, they're so proud of you, Peyton, and not just for the wedding, but for everything, and, and so on. So let's remember them as we toast to Max and Peyton, 
and the beautiful, wonderful life we're going to have together. Cheers, everybody.